Hey guys, so just wanted to quickly make a video of the coolest and the best exposed modules. Now, obviously, to get exposed installer, you will have to be rooted. Uh, you can find tutorials online. Um, I've got some, but they may be outdated or really old. But anyway, once you've got exposed installed, these are some of the best and coolest exposed modules you can download. And so starting off with Android NFI. Now this basically gives an Android N theme um, status bar. So if you go down, it will look like that. And it's fairly customizable. So you can choose dark theme on the app, primary color, etc., etc. Um, you can hide the light launch icon in the settings. It's quite a bit to toggle around with but it's pretty fun to play with and gives your phone a cool new look now the next one's for oneplus phones predominantly um, called custom slider uh, this basically lets you choose the what the, the slider position does on all your phone on your phone when set to different positions so top middle and bottom um, as you can see all notifications priority vibrate and total silence uh, presumably this was made because there was quite a few people unhappy with the order that the slider was in so i think it was set to silent if it was pushed to the bottom of and then people wanted it pushed to the top or the other way around um, next up is fingerprint enabler now this does not provide a user inf interface as you can see, it enables fingerprint scanner mode disabled by Google in Android 6.0.1. This basically means when you turn your Android 6.0.1 phone on, it will require you to put in your password and you cannot log in with your fingerprint the first time you turn your phone on or restart it. Um, next up is Gravity Box. Now, many of you all have heard of this. Uh, just deny that for now. Don't show this again. Um, yeah, it is one of the biggest exposed modules and one of the biggest reasons people tend to root their phones. It has almost any tweak you could want from lock screen, showing a custom style, etc., etc., to display tweaks, phone tweaks, almost anything. PowerNap is basically a phone, is um, Android application that, in a sense, pauses most of your apps when the screen's off. So if I was to turn the screen off right now, it would pause most of my apps. It does save a lot of battery. I think I could get a day out of my OnePlus 3 when I first got it with this app installed. I can easily get two days. So it is very handy. Um, screen off animation. Choose your animation for the screen off. So TV burning, fade tiles etc etc a uh, pretty cool app you can also change how your screen turns on um, then we're on to settings editor pro now you can get a pro or you can get a regular version uh, don't know if it's going to let me okay you need permission but i have got uh, another app that deals with this if you search up on my videos how to change settings uh, the settings app it will come up there and you'll get a better detailed explanation. Um, last one is YouTube Adway. Now this means that if you are playing YouTube videos in your browser or your app, it will normally not show your the advertisements before the video where normally it would. And that's a pretty handy app and truth be told, one of my personal favorites. So hopefully this was interesting and hopefully you like it guys, so yeah. I hope you guys had fun watching as I had fun making it. Take care. Bye.